what we aim to do now is to draw the graph of the tangent function. And uh, we will use the fact that on the unit circle, the tangent corresponds to the slope, right? slope of the line. So uh, here at zeroth degree, this horizontal lines have slope of zero. And then 45 degree line has slope of one. one right? And then at 90, it's not defined, but if you get really close to 90 degrees, think about what happens. Uh, slope is rise over run. So if you have rise <coughs> divided by run, because your run is so small, you're, if you're dividing by something that's really small, you end up with a very big quantity. So the slope here, as it gets steeper and steeper, close to 90 degrees, it goes to infinity. So what that means is that if this, if this is 90 degrees, and let's say this is 45 degrees, then, and, and let's say this is 1, initially it goes to 1, and then as it goes past 45 degrees, it just goes up and up, as it gets closer and closer to 90 degrees. And then, uh, once you cross 90 degrees, <coughs> you again get a very steep angle, but anything that's decreasing, that's called a negative slope, right? It's, uh, anything that's going down. <coughs> so, uh, the value of the slope, when you do rise over 1, it will be a negative value, but negative big values. So, something like negative 10, negative 20, something like that. So uh, in that case, once you're over 90 degrees, when you're right past 90 degrees, the values are big negative values and it climbs back up. And, and, and when you're hitting 180 degrees, you're, you're back to zero again because that's, that's a zero slope. So here, that's 180 degrees. And then between 180 to 270 degrees, if you draw any line, you'll see that that has a counterpart on this side. So these two lines are parts of the, these two rays are parts of the same line. Above 180 degrees, the rays that you draw has a counterpart on this other side, which has the same slope, which means that once you're above 180 degrees, the value of the tangent will repeat itself. Uh, so. Once you're above 180 degrees, this part will repeat itself, which means you can draw this picture by just selecting this much and copying and pasting right here. So that's the graph that you get, which would be until 270. Okay. And then if you're past 270, again, it's the same story. This ray and this ray, they're on the same line, so they have the same slope. The value of the tangent of this ray would be the same as the slope, uh, the tangent of this ray. So the values, this value from 90 to 180 will be copy and pasted over here. So that's the graph of the tangent. Yes? Um, your body was kind of blocking which ones you say would have been um, the same. Can you just say that one more time? Oh, this much mm -hmm. is repeated here. Oh, okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. So here's our conclusion. Here's our conclusion. If you draw the graph of the tangent, then you have this. And let me draw the graph from pi over 2, from 0 to pi over 2. That's the graph that you get. And then from negative pi over 2 to 0, uh, this part, again, on the unit circle is same as here. Negative 90 degrees to zero is here. So uh, this portion of the graph gets pasted over here. So you get this as one continuous graph from negative pi over 2 to pi, pi over 2. And then uh, at pi, you get another zero. At 3 pi over 2, you get another vertical asymptote and you're going to get that, you're going to get that again. <coughs> so
So you have the graph of tangent as uh, something that repeats every pi. The, the length between here to there is pi, because there's a half a pi, there's another half a pi that's pi, right? And that portion will be repeated again and again. So it's again a periodic function, just like sines and cosines are. But sine and cosine have periods of two pi. They uh, repeat every full circle. This happens to, to repeat every pi, 180 degrees. And that's the graph. Uh, and, and the things that you have to uh, understand about the graph is that uh, first the period is pi, and at every odd multiples of pi over 2, it has a vertical asymptote. You get that? 